so anyway, so speaking of Meta, like for example, um, I used to work there um, back when it was called Facebook. Um, so they have their own data centers. And a data center may have 100,000 hosts. Each one is like a computer. Um, so when I got into robotics, I came with all that baggage, if you will. And I look at a collection of robots, a fleet of robots, as a kind of a data center from hell. Right? <laughs> because when you think about a data center, you focus on things like you know, reliable networking. You focus on reliable power. Yep. You try to have as few moving parts as possible. Yeah, makes sense. And you expect that in a data center with 100,000 things, there's going to be thousands of things that are failing. Yeah. So you expect failure. Statistically, that's, that's interesting. Right? And you anticipate failure and you have backups and, you know, um, and, you know, you have recovery mechanisms. Uh, so all these things that, you know, give you reliability. So that's the site reliability aspect. Part of it is how can you anticipate failure versus hope that it doesn't happen? Yeah. So when you try to bring that to robotics, none of that is common practice, right? So first of all, my you know, data center from hell analogy is you have all these robots, they're, you know, especially with mobile robots, they're running on battery power. They're moving around, there's people bumping into them. So it's a very chaotic environment. They're usually on you know, a crappy network that wasn't designed for the robots. <laughs> so there's, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. And even the best of robots today, state of the art, isn't, you know, five nines perfect. Yeah. It's not even two nines most of the time. It may not even be one nine, right? You're talking about the number of decimals after 99 point. Yeah. So, yeah. so in a, you know, when you think about reliability, right, you think about five nines is the, the optimal, right? Yeah. So 99.999% oh, of the it. time okay. is upside. Sense. So it's, the nines before the decimal count too. Yes. Got it. Yeah. 